going on, my drip drop dropper here, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. Now, this video is Dokkan Battle, but it's not me doing no summons or doing any events or none of that. It's just a casual sit down, pretty much top five video on Dokkan Battle. So, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, and let's, let's just hop right into this. Now, today is going to be top five favorite hero units on Dragon Ball Z Dog Combat Battle. So, without any further ado, like I just said, let's hop into it. So our number, and one more thing, this is all opinion based. Like, I am not saying these are facts, it's, like, these are all my opinions. So if you guys got your own top five, you guys like your own top five favorite hero cards on Dokkan, let me know down in the comments. I'll be interested to see what you guys come up with. But, without any further ado, number five on this list, and I, I hate to play my number five, but it's just this one thing that keeps him at number five. My boy SSJ for Gogeta, and you guys probably saw it right there, but the number one thing that's keeping him at number five is three words. And you can say it with me, you can put them down in the comments, you can tweet me on Twitter, I don't care what you do. And that is to be released. The three words that we do not ever, ever, ever want to see in Dokkan Battle ever again. To be released. is one of the most annoying things to see. And it's not only on Super Saiyan for Gogeta, it's also for Omega Shiron. But that's for another video. So, that's the number one thing that's keeping him at number five. It's just to be released is the dumbest thing I've ever seen or heard before. Why release a, a leader skill, why release a good car, a hype car, like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and don't give us his leader skill? That's the number one thing we need. We can't even run him as a leader on, the, on Global. JP, y'all can do whatever y'all want, because he got his leader skill on JP, but Global, we pretty much fucked. We don't have any leader skill for him. So that's why he comes in at number five, because to be released. And plus... His passive skill is good. Like his passive skill is good. Attack, attack 100, attack plus 120 percent, and all that. Attack and defense minus 20 percent. High chance of evading enemy super attacks. Encounter with tremendous power. Now, like I said, if it wasn't for to be released, Gogeta probably would have been like Super Saiyan 4. Gogeta probably would have been like number two or number three on the list. But to be released are the three words that's holding him back that's why he's number five number four my boy my favorite fusion out of both vegeto and gogeta super sam blue vegeto now his dodging his blocking abilities is not as it's, it's good it's good don't get me wrong it's good but it's not as tanky as super vegeto we all know super vegeto can get hit for only like 80 damage that's nothing Vegeta Blue on the other hand can get hit for like almost a thousand or probably over a thousand. Unless you like type of energy, you might, you might probably not gonna get hit that hard. But he's a number four just because that. His like his that's, that's really my that's just my opinion why he's a number four, because he really don't tank attacks like Super Vegito do. But overall, Vegito Blue is amazing. Not only does he uh what's it called get off additional attacks, but you have a chance for all those additional attacks to be super attacks. So it's, if you, it's like if you got your super Vegito, your Vegito Blue to SA10 and got criticals in him, like just put orbs in him, criticals in him in the orb system, Vegito Blue is a monster. Like I said, he has a chance to crit and he has a chance to do a, the four super attacks. You can't beat that. And like I said, if you, when you put him in the potential system, do not put additional attacks on him because there's no point. He already does up to four additional attacks. So do not put additional attacks on him. Criticals is the number one thing you want for him. Because when he gets those crit counters off and his crit supers, Vegito Blue is amazing. So that's why Vegito Blue is at number four. All right, now number three. He's my favorite character. But just because he's my favorite character doesn't mean I have to. I, I'm gonna put him at number one. So at number three 
on the list. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Now, like I just said, Vegeta is my all-time favorite character. I, I don't... Like, it's funny. I don't know how I became a Vegeta fan. I think, like, really, I, per, I persuade myself saying I became a Vegeta fan because everybody was Goku and Gohan fans. So I'm just like, I'm going to be different. I'm going to be a Vegeta fan. That's my boy. And here we are today. Vegeta's still my favorite character. But he's at number three because when you have him on an AGL team with the with a Vegeta, I mean, not Vegeta, a Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta friend, Vegeta is the master at tanking. Just like Super Vegito, Vegeta can tank like crazy. Even when he has a type of, even when he doesn't have, like, when he doesn't have a type of advantage. Like, say, for instance, you're going against Tech Golden Frieza. Go Tech Golden Frieza is going to hit Vegeta with a normal attack and only do, like, 80 damage to him. That's how good he is as a tank. And he, on any other team, he's still good. And not only is he a tank, but if you put orbs into him and put crits and additionals into him, Vegeta is a monster. I, I don't know how many times I've been in situations where I needed an additional super attack and Vegeta came through and did the additional super attack. And not only did he got the additional super attack or crits when you put him in the orb system, but he also has a, a medium chance to dodge. And when he dodged the super attacks and get a counter off, the counter could do almost, a, not even almost, it could do a million critical. So it's just like, what? That's why Vegeta is so good. That's why the Prince of All Sands, my favorite character, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, comes in at number three. And a little fun fact, Super Saiyan 4 is my favorite transformation. Let me know in the comment section, what's your favorite Super Saiyan transformation? Because mine... Is Super Saiyan 4. But coming in at number two, we have to say your boy Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He's at number two because I, I gotta look at his passive. I, his passive is obviously he just like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. He can dodge super attacks and has a medium ch or like a medium chance of countering with the super. But Goku. When you do his super attack, that's why I gotta, I gotta look at his, his leader skill because I don't wanna I don't wanna put any opinions. There. I just wanna do facts because it's gonna be opinions when I what's it called? What's it called? Yeah, you, 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 you know what I'm trying to say. I hate to take them long pauses, but what I'm trying to say is Goku is an amazing. He's an amazing unit for a mono strength team, especially when you got Super Saiyan Strength GT Trunks and Super Saiyan Three Kid Goku Strength. In the same role, in, in just in the same team with him. Super Saiyan 3 Goku is his best friend. Goku hit like a truck. And then when you put, just like Vegeta, when you put orbs in him for his criticals and his additionals. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. Goku hits like a, a nuke. Like he, he, he if he hits you, especially if he had type advantage, if he has type advantage, he can hit you for almost like five million damage. I, I, I've seen it before. I like cooler. I've hit him for like 5 million damage. damage. Especially if you got his S810 attack to 10. If it's maxed out, Goku is just gonna hit like a truck. He can tank decently, but he's gonna hit like a truck. That's why Goku comes in with Super Saiyan 4. Goku comes in at number 2. Now, we're gonna do an honorable mention here. And that honorable mention would have to go to Super Gogeta. When Super Gogeta first came to Global, I wasn't around. I wasn't playing Dokkan Battle at the time. But when he came around, I heard Gogeta was the, the go-to car. He was the go-to car for a leader skill. Like he, he was good to run as a leader. And Gogeta ignores types. So you can go against an AGL and still hit real hard because he ignores types. That's why Gogeta is good. And now with the orb system, you put orbs into him, you put crits, and additionals. Gogeta is like a god. He hits so he's so good. So if you are I'm telling you, put some orbs into Gogeta. Put some orbs in him, criticals, and additionals. You're gonna love him. I don't got that many orbs in him, but when I do, I'm definitely gonna love him a lot more. But that's our honorable mention. Now our number one, our top pick. The one card that just, just, just amazing. Gotta be 
Like I said, my boy, Super Vegito. Super Vegito changed Dokkan Battle forever. He, he changed it. When he first dropped on JP, people who played Global and JP just went to go JP. They said forget Global, because for, if, if I'm wrong, correct me. But I think that's back when Global was having a, having his little dark days. And Global really wasn't that good. And JP where it was all at. But Vegito changed the game. Super Vegito. Not only did he make events easy with his counters and his super tankiness, but he's just an amazing car. He, like I said, he changed the game for Dokkan Battle. Not only JP, but Global. When I look back at it, when I first pulled the Super Vegito, it was when Vegito Blue came around. And I'm so happy that I pulled Vegito. I, I went back and started doing old events, Dokkan Awakening, older cards, and was getting through them like a breeze. It was easy. It was a piece of cake. And then when I got Vegito Blue, it made it even easier. So this is why Vegito, Super Vegito comes in number one. He just changed the game. He changed Dokkan for good. Like I said, I remember when he first came to Global. I tried so hard to pull him, but couldn't pull him for nothing in the world. And I was like, what? Come on. You know what I mean? The background just seemed like, just so salty. Because I couldn't, everybody going through, flying through these events so easily. And you look at me like, you motherfuckers. Y'all all got Super Vegito. I'm just here like, just struggling. I can't even get my cards look like People getting Vegito and Super Vegito and just flying through events. Doing tremendous. But, Vegito, Super, G Super Vegito, my boy, comes in. At number one. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And this is more like an experimental video, like I said. Because if you guys if you guys really enjoyed this, then I would consider doing more. Because like I said, I thought about this and I was like, you know what? That don't sound so bad. I'm doing like a top five favorite hero cards in Dokkan Battle. So if you guys, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys leave likes on the video, I would do a top five, my top five favorite extreme or my top five extreme favorite villains team. Villain cards, top five favorite villain cards. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. That was like the hardest sentence for me to say, like the hardest thing I've ever done in my, <laughs> the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, which say that one sentence. But like I said, if you guys like it, I would do my top five favorite villain cards in the game. Hell, I even do like top five favorite LRs, Top five favorite female cards, top five favorite underrated cards, top five SRs, top five rares. Whatever you guys want, I could do it. Like I said, you just gotta support this video and leave a like and all that. And yeah, like I said, let me know down in the comment section your, your guys' top five favorite hero cards. Like I said, this video is all, all opinion based besides like when I was saying leader skills and stuff. That was all facts. You guys can obviously see on the screen uh, uh, leader skills and passive skills and all that. So, but mostly the way I ordered them or place them is my like, totally my opinion and if you guys have a different opinion from mine it's totally fine let me know down in the comments or tweet me on twitter do whatever but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like and if you guys really 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 enjoyed the video consider hitting that subscribe button yeah this has been your boy Drapa, and i'll see you guys later peace